Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. Today we have a cool toy to show off that we wanted to share with the rest of the class. And the neat thing on this one is when we got it, it came in as just a box of random parts. It wasn't assembled in any way, it wasn't even completely wired. And this came in with a large donation of random equipment and we couldn't figure out what it was at first. So while sitting there that day eating lunch, I took all the parts out of the box and started putting them together and it became pretty obvious how they went together. And this is what we got. And it looks like a little drill press, but it's not. At least I don't think it is. There's no real way of figuring out exactly what it is. It's made by the Crown Manufacturing Company. It's a model number 31638 and serial number 5-308. And now you know everything about it that I do. But it looks like a drill press at first glance. But when you turn it on, it does that, and there's no handle or anything. There, there's no handle to move it up and down. But if you flip the switch the other way, it does that, which is kind of cool. So that's when I figured out, oh, I know what it's for. Now, this is just my theory, and we haven't actually tested this yet, but we're going to give it a shot and see if it works. There's a metalworking process called purling, which is where you take a piece of wooden dowel and you put it in a drill press and you put polishing compound on the piece of metal and you bring the dowel down and it polishes a little circle with like a swirl. And you move the piece of material that you're working on and you bring it down to a new spot. And if you do this right and you really practice at it and they're like, you know, somebody with a lot of patience that might be like a jewelry maker, you can make a really cool effect called purling. And it's, you see it on uh, pocket watches a lot, on the inside of a pocket watch where you'll see it, it'll look like scales or overlapping circles. That's purling. So I think that's what this is for, but I could be totally wrong. I really have no idea. But I've got a block of aluminum. I've got my nifty little machine. And I have some polishing compound here, which I'll just goop some on in the middle there. And let's see if this works. Now, I'm going to mix that around because I don't want it to fling too much, though the odds are I'm probably going to end up wearing some Brasso before we're done here. And we'll lift this up and put this in here because our block of aluminum is way too thick for this poor little machine. But let's see if this works. Now what I'm doing is letting it cycle in the same spot and when it goes up, I move my thing and it polishes the next spot. So I let it do about three times in each spot. It's really hard to get the timing just right. But I'd imagine somebody who's far more experienced at this could do pretty good with it. It makes a pretty good racket. Now, let's see how that looks and see if I'm anywhere near correct. And hey, look at that. I have purled. I'll clean off my polishing compound. And look at that. It worked. Here, we'll, we'll get a good close up. I'll hold it down here. You can see it. There is my purling right down the middle. Isn't that nifty? So yeah, it actually does work and it does a pretty good job. So now we have a purling machine here at the lab. And I have, this is my first purling. I'm very proud. <laughs> I'm finally a real life boy. So yeah, purling machine. That's kind of cool. And it's just a, a little chuck with a piece of wooden dowel in it. And it's got a little cam back here that you can see here. There's two motors actually. There's the motor here and if you flip the switch one way it just turns on that motor and it spins and it turns a chuck. Now if you flip the switch over here forward it activates a second little motor that's located in the box and it turns that little crank there. Can, can you see that crank? There you go. So yeah, there's the little crank and the crank works on the cam up here and it lifts the whole spindle up. So that's pretty cool. Neat little purling machine. 
So it's, it's kind of old. It's probably 80s vintage or older. This thing could be as far back as the 60s for all I know. I really have no idea. I don't know anything about it. We just got it as a bunch of parts and put together and figured out how to do purling. But I've done purling now. So that's a whole new machining process that I just learned today. I've never done that before. So yeah, there's our newest little toy. This is in machine shop. If you're a member out there and you'd like to come down and learn how to purl, then you're welcome to try out our machine. Come on down to the lab here at the Geek Group. We're uh, Burdick Street for the Heavy Industries Lab, which is our machine shop. You guys can come down and play and do purling and make a pocket watch or just make a, I don't know, make a dragon. Do a dragon and meddle with that. So yeah, you guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. We're going to get back to work. I'll see you next time. Bye.